Here's Truman. A pass across. Now Griffin Fraser back to the point. There's a shot. Here's Truman signing it. He scores! Well, the leads have been very important in this series, and the Kodiaks get it. Rock Truman gets it, and uh, Jack, it's nice to have number 13 back, right? Oh, yeah. Really nice to have all our 20s in the lineup tonight after a phrase was suspended for a few games there, too. Exactly. And it pays dividends right off the bat as uh, Brock Truman puts it by Proctor Ramirez, and it's 1-0. Kodiaks. Sure, he's beaten him a couple of times with some big shots. Tied with Michael Horn for the... Team lead, they score! Just as well. There it is. You're right on cue, buddy. Nice call. One timer for Ryan Sullivan. It's another power play goal, and the Kodiaks have a 2 0 lead. I was looking down at my sheet to see that uh, Sullivan and Horan each have five points for the team lead. Now Sullivan has six. That was a great shot, right over short side, over his shoulder there. Doesn't get much better than that. Second goal of the playoffs, sixth point, and his second power play goal of this series in the Kodiaks of a 2-0 lead. On the near side of the faceoff circle. He'll play it back to Dean, 21 seconds to go. Dean switches, now pass across, one-timer, they score! Another power play goal. And this time it's Logan Lorenz with a one-timer from the face-off circle. His third goal of the series. His third on the power play. He scored one like that, I think, game two down here. Very similar. Same thing, one-timer into the net. Yeah, that's right. When our power play is snapping around like this, it takes so much pressure off all the guys, especially a penalty killer like myself. It's so nice to see our offensive guys put it in the net. Power play by number 24, Logan Lorenz. The assist to number 19, Carson White, and number 71, Owen Dean. Time of the goal, 1942. So Owen Dean with a couple of assists in this first period. The Kodiaks have opened up a 3-0 advantage here with 8.8 .8 seconds left in this opening period. Now Lions from the left point, a shot tipped, left pad saved by Welke. Now it comes in front of shot, that's blocked, another shot, hit the goal post, another shot, they score. Oh boy, that turned into a shooting gallery. Welke was down and out, and it looks like Kea Lions will put it home. And the Eagles with relentless pressure, and are able to uh, get it home. Boy, Welke made a couple of great stops there, but he just uh, he couldn't get up after that last one. Yeah, that's a that's a tough save to make for Welks there. About three point blank shots in the slot. So the Eagles get the goal. A couple of saves by Welke, a post, and finally, Kale Lyon scores. It's now three one. Scored by the corner from Myral. Watch by Kincaid. Back to Lyons. He's in deep. Now trying to play it back off a skate, but right to the county. Shot, scores. With one second left on the power play. And the Eagles make it 3-2. As the county will get the goal. And, uh, man, that is, that's just bad luck. That's so unfortunate. That was oh. such a great kill. They had nothing the whole time. And... Guys were blocking shots, and I think we blocked one there, went right to their guy, and yeah, that's that's unfortunate for sure. Yep, a block shot goes right to the Eagle player, and uh, they make it count, and all of a sudden it's a 3-2 hockey game here with 5.18 to go in the second period. White with the puck, 48 seconds to go in this power play. Here's Dean, right wing side. He'll get it to Sullivan. Sullivan bursting through the defense, walks in, back, and scores! 
Ryan Sullivan again. He's got two tonight, three on the series, and there was that speed on display. He just went right through the pair of defensemen. Yeah, I played against Sully growing up all the way through, and you've really just seen a breakout with the Kodiaks. Like, it's crazy to see, especially when you're on his team, just the work he puts in every day and how good he really is. Some of the stuff he does in practice, that kind of thing, it's, it's pretty fun to watch. Well, he's been fun tonight. A couple of power play goals. The Kodiaks are three for three with a man advantage, and they have a 4-2 lead. Cool. The point to Lions. There's Lions now in from the left point. A shot that misses the net. Rebound comes near side. 26 seconds to go. Here's Biddick. Winds up. Fires a shot. Blocked by Fraser. Got it back again. They score. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's two in this period. Block shots that go right back to the Eagles. And Biddick puts that home his uh, third of the season and makes it 4-3 with 19.8 seconds left. And Oh, my. Center. Here's a Jones, a pass across. Jones gets it back. Hammered there by uh, Alvarez. Now Nathan Ellis goes after him. And Sean Feld will shoot it in. Lorenz, he's got Horan with him. Here's Lorenz, right wing side, walks in. A pass to Horan, tip, saved by Malin. Oh, my goodness. Back to the point, Biddick fanned on it. And now it comes to Rock Truman, could be a two-on-one. Here's Truman with Lorenz. Truman, a pass to Lorenz, walks in, shoots, hit the goal post. The rebound is laying there underneath Malin. How did that stay out? I can't believe it. Wow. And that'll do it. Gao took a stick there. Now we're not quite done yet. I don't know if Gao took a stick off that face-off or what, but uh, we're going to have a little uh, a little uh, preview of what might happen on Sunday. Well, the game is over there, and Lions decided to shoot it yeah. on net still. Yeah. Oh, boy, now Lions going after Spencer Welkie. Well, that looks like that's going to do it here. As the Kodiaks will win game four. Uh, game five, I should say, by a score of four to three. Well, that was exciting. Nervous. Oh. Kind of rolled everything in one. Oh, yeah, a lot of emotions during that game. But, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I appreciate you having me on here with you. Well, thank you very much for doing it. That was fun. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll do it again sometime. I'd rather see you down on the ice, but if yeah. you're ever back up here, you yeah. got a spot. Definitely. <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll see you in Canmore. Sounds good. All right. Kodiaks win this one by a score of 4-3, to three, and they now lead the series three games to two, and we'll come back to wrap this all up with the Fortis Alberta postgame show coming up as uh, Kodiaks will take a 3-2 series lead in dramatic fashion here on home ice with a Game 5 victory. We'll be back with the Fortis Alberta postgame show next from the Hometime Realty Broadcast Center. This is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiaks Hockey on New Country, 98.1 FM and Hockey TV.